PB Ready uh, recently asked on Talk Graphics, uh, would you use Zara Extreme to correct um, perspective um, on a photograph? Um, here's one I've imported from the web. Um, it's not, uh, it's quite correct. And as you see, this perspective is as it uh, disappears to a vanishing point uh, way above you. Um, I'm zoomed right out here because it's quite a big image and it's always best to work on a big image and things like this. Uh, the first thing I do then is to um, open another layer new. And all I'm going to do here is put some guidelines on this layer. Um, Holding down the control key, bring that up. Um, might make that a bit bigger. Um, just move that across till it meets the corner of this building here. And control K to clone that. Shift that along till it reaches that corner. Um, I'm going to do the line here this will just give me uh, make sure that the thing stays in perspective as I widen it at the top I want to make sure it stays straight uh, and I'll do that in a couple of places just so I know some guideline of where things are in, in relative relation to each other uh, let's put that one at the top of that that cross there okay then we can lock that layer uh, lock that layer and we go back in working now on the photograph go down to the mold tool select the perspective mold the default perspective mold then hold down the control key click on this corner I'm going to drag this out a bit too far that time and drag it back a bit a little bit too far and drag it back you can see now that that's straight up now we need to correct this side and holding down the control key again just drag out drag it, drag it out um, I think that's about right um, just, I mean just, you can see that that's straight up you can see that that's straight up what you can actually see though is that everything's um, been squashed down so um, if I just hold down this and bring that up so that, sorry cross meets there, the ground level is about right there, um, it might need a bit more thing now you pull it up a bit so back to the perspective tool, pull this corner out a bit more, touch more, and it does have effect on the other side but it, everything seems to be relatively good there, um, what I'm going to do now I'm happy with that, I'm going to open the object layer, uh, I'm going to switch off the visibility of those um, and I'm going to click on this, arrange, combine, show, uh, sorry, arrange, create bitmap copy uh, again you can't see this but it says arrange, create bitmap copy uh, to color, create, delete this old one now um, you can then go into that, just make a thing over the top of that, set the fill colour, no fill colour, no line colour, arrange, create, bitmap copy, true colour, create, now delete that one, um, pull, that, pull that down in size now, um, go to 100%, Sorry, while I pull the page around, am I going to be able to do this in time? You could actually pull it down just to touch, elongate it a bit. Arrange, create, final, create bitmap copy, uh, create bitmap copy, create. And there you've got the perspective taken out of it. Um, I hope that helped all the best.